I think that what's happening right now and what excites me to see is I feel like modeling is becoming less about looking one certain way and more about celebrating like all of the different ways that a person can possibly exist. It's not that I didn't think that I could model, but it's just never something that I thought was gonna be like my story. Hi Vogue, my name is Tess McMillan and we're here in London Fashion Week and I'm getting ready to do the Simone Rocha show, which I'm so excited for. But before that, I'm gonna take you around for my day. And right now, I was just getting ready to write in my journal a little bit, which is what I do every day, so come on. I feel like such a teenager, I'm like, no, don't look. <laughs> I think everyone needs at least one secret. This is my third time walking and this time I feel a little bit better but I remember like before I did my first show I was like I'm not doing shows I said that to my agent I was like I'm not doing shows ever because it just like it scared me so terribly but now I'm kind of getting more comfortable in it and I'm finding more of the excitement and the joy in it so I think that it's about time to start getting ready the bathroom is shared so the biggest problem that I have with my skin personally is that it gets really dry. My biggest thing is that I wear sunscreen every single day without fail, but I forgot my sunscreen in Paris, which I'm just gonna have to like let it go. I'm like particularly freckly right now because it's the end of summer. So I have like, I love my freckles. My call time is at 2 p.m. and I am starving. So I think I'm gonna grab a bite to eat before the show. Get dressed. I got this dress um, actually really recently on a vacation in Canada. I have this theory that the best places to vintage shop aren't actually the places that are super known for style. It's actually the places that aren't on the map whatsoever. Like the best vintage shopping I've ever found in the world. It's a secret, but Scotland. Scotland is the best vintage shopping. I actually have to take the Eurostar back to Paris right after the show, so. This is my entire life right now, packed into one bag. Hi, I'm checking out of room 208. It's Tess McMillan. Okay. Oh, little feet! I'm trying to decide between avocado toast and a cheese toasty. I'm gonna get a um, classic cheese toasty and iced cocoa latte, please. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I'm eating like <laughs> a little toddler. Like I have my like grilled cheese and my chocolate milk and I'm like, this is what it's like, you know, like <laughs> in the life of an adult. So I originally am from a small town in East Texas called Beaumont, and then when I was around eight, I moved to Austin. Up until really just like a couple years ago, the modeling industry really existed within, okay, so we have straight size models and we have plus size models, but there was really like no one to represent in between. To me, plus size is just the term that's used for models that aren't, you know, uh, a, you know, size zero. I'm not a size zero, I'm about a US size eight. And so because people are like, oh, whoa, we don't have a label for that. People are like, okay, that's plus sized, I guess. I remember the first time that I ever got a hate comment. It really, really affected me, you know, like I, I had a really hard time dealing with it. But, you know, through help from my family, especially my mom and my best friends, I kind of like started to shift my focus from, okay, there's something wrong with me and there's not something wrong with the people who said it, but like, I don't think that anybody who feels good about themselves would try to take somebody else down. And so once I realized that, I realized like, okay, I can move forward knowing that like, if I think I'm beautiful, then you know, what's to stop me from doing anything. Okay, so I have to get to the Simone show now. I'm kind of late, so here we go. 
I think because last time I had such a pleasant experience walking for the show, I feel really calm. I know that I'm going to get there and like everyone's going to take care of me. I'm going to be working with people that I really admire and enjoy working with. So I just feel really calm and excited. The show today is going to be at Alexandra Palace and yesterday when I was doing my fitting, I was talking to someone who said that the British people call it Ali Pali. So we're going to go with that. That seems official. Wow, it's insane. This way. How are you? So happy you're in the show. We're going to shoot you for the campaign. Okay. So we'll get you dressed before you go into our makeup. Okay, perfect. Thank you. right now because Simone is being interviewed over there. I'm not walking right now. I'm doing a photo shoot over there, so. Okay, so I just finished shooting the campaign and so now I'm gonna change out of these and then go to hair and makeup. So the collection was originally inspired by the Irish wren boys. Traditionally they would hunt the wren bird on oh. St. Stephen's Day. They're almost like trick-or-treaters. Oh. So they're a little bit spooky and a little bit rebellious and a little bit punk. And I just thought, even though you are not Irish, you have such a beautiful natural Irish colouring that you had to be a part of the collection. I just think you're such an inspirational beauty. So I'm thrilled. Thank you. Okay, you've got to go to hair and makeup. So I'll see you okay. in a bit. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. I feel like... <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> She's really famous. Oh, I'm on Vogue. Hi, Vogue. He said that I have a feather. Yeah, so we've got all of these feathers from Irish birds oh. <laughs> that we're body painting down the middle of the forehead. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Now I have to hurry and go to rehearsal which is basically where I put the shoes on and then I do like a practice loop of the runway. Still too fast? Too fast and too many girls. Right, okay. Should we stop and start again? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're really getting into like the last, you know, 20 minutes before the show, so everyone has to do their last touches. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, we have to really rush because it's 10 minutes until the show, so we have to... You look beautiful. I love this. <laughs> Let's do you in here. Okay. We prefer it in here. Let's go to first looks. This is it. We're getting ready to go on the runway and I'm so excited.
following me around all day. It's been so fun, but now I have to catch my Eurostar back to Paris.